How's it going? I've got some mailbag stuff here to check out. Do you want to see what's in here? I know I do. Oh, I see what's in here. There's some RS, it could be capacitors. I'm going to disappoint you. It's not capacitors, it's connectors. These are what I need to make riser cards. At least that's the theory. Let's open them up. Oh, I need a real knife for this. So these are basically a dip 20 package style size, and these are for header pins. So you can see the pin holes there, so you just get the header pins that go into there. So this is like a side mounting connector. The reason for this is for my uh, riser cards I'm, I'm making for the HP 8648-8647. And I've got the PCBs on the way, or well, actually here. We're going to do that in the mailbag as well. And uh, that's part of that assembly we're going to be making. So yeah, cool. So I've got um, five of those. I hate old numbers. Five. But yeah, I should have got two packs, so at least I should have a number then. Five. Okay, what's in this one? Thanks to my Patreons and anyone who supported me and bought, bought my merch or anything like that for my channel. All that sort of stuff helps me to buy things for mailbag and what have you. It's always very helpful. This is from J Cars, it's the latest catalogue. Well, I'd look at it later on. Sometimes interesting stuff. So I've got some more of this liquid electrical tape. I use this for sealing things or sticking labels back on sometimes if they fall off, that kind of thing. Very handy. Um, I'll get through probably, I don't know, this is my last tube. I've had this one for probably about six months, I think. So I should probably get some more than that. But it's handy stuff to have. It's uh, multiple uses. This is basically PVC stuff. Of course, you liquid and it goes to a solid, so you can use it to seal weirdly shaped connections or things which you can't put a bit of heat shrink around because you don't want to strip it down to do it. So it's just handy for that. And in here is something I need to finish the calibration on my DC electronic load. I started calibrating it the other day and um, got to a step because the manual is not particularly great as far as calibration it's a little bit unclear. Yeah you could, you could misinterpret what it says anyway. And so I had to get another shunt because the one I've got is actually too big. I don't have enough resolution. And also all of the power supply as well, um, which is coming eventually. It's still in the US, it hasn't even left the US yet, it's taken over a week. Ridiculous. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't seem to fit on there very well. Look at that. That's not very well assembled, is it? Hmm. <laughs> Somebody got the measurements wrong. Right, so this is a 50 millivolt, 50 amp shunt. So for every amp you get one millivolt, in theory. Um, although I don't see any markings on it saying what it is. Oh, there we go. That's it over here. Focus, you bastard. Here we go. All right. 50 amp. Here we go. It's lighting. 50 millivolt. So. I'm going to have to maybe make it a bit more obvious marking, so mix it up or something. But So this means I can do the 50 amp calibration I need to do on my DC load with a good resolution. This might get a bit warm, but that's fine. At least I can need some flattening out. I'll do a video on that when I get to it. Let's see what's in here. Is this one capacitors? No, it's bubble wrap. that. It's inside a bag. It doesn't need to be inside another bag. For fuck's sake. Right, so that's male D9 connectors. And over here are female D9 connectors. Great, that's some of the stuff I need. There's some straight on headers. I think, no, that's why these are right angle headers, get this right. 
There you go. So yeah, that's another part I need. So I think I've got all the bits I need to make these boards, which is great. As long as they all fit, I haven't cocked something up, it's all good. These need these require modification to actually use them. I've got to cut some shouting off, but it's not a big deal. Bags are bags are bags ridiculous. And what are these ones? These are some female D9s. Great, so I've got ones which actually match. So I've got these pairs which came with this set. So I've got male and female. So these ones I use. I've got these other ones because I wasn't quite sure what I was going to keep. What I was going to keep in the end. If I was going to use these ones or something different. You know, because these have got like mounting brackets on them for alignment. I may still use these because of the alignment. Um, but then this has got pins as well, so depends on where the pins sit. Because it's got um, locating pins inside the unit, this has got to plug into. So if these don't fit in, then I'll probably have to use these ones, but there might be standard spacing. So look. Do they look about the same? They do. They do look about the same, so if the holes are the same size in. So that's alright. Options, I like options. So it's just a IDC type connector, so you just put the ribbon cable through there and squash it shut and it pierces the cables and gives you connections you need. And this is just a power cable connection so this, this sort of runs through here is some data lines and some power connections which is what's um, required for this so it doesn't actually need that much so it should be absolutely fine hopefully anyway we'll find out. Alright what's in this one? If you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also don't forget to check out my other videos. I've got hundreds of videos. You'll see links at the end of the video to go to my playlist of certain things you might find interesting. One of those is recommended by YouTube things based on what you think you might like. So check those out at the end of the video. Also chuck in, um, sometimes I put outtakes in the end as well. All right, excellent. Okay, so these are 3.5 millimeter and five millimeter oscilloscope probe adapters. Now, I was doing a live stream not long ago, which I'm also doing right now as whilst I'm recording this, and I wanted to test some oscilloscope probes which had to turn up. I wanted to test it, but I didn't have a probe adapter because I couldn't find the bloody things. Oh, I've got some, I can't find them. Anyway, so I found a source of where to buy some. Now these are actually from Element 14. So Element 14 have got them. So these are the 3.5mm ones, which are not as common. So you go, this little 3.5mm jack there, so the oscilloscope probe should just plug into there, and that ends a BNC adapter. So you just better plug that into a BNC port. And these ones are the same thing, they've just got a 5mm jack on them instead. So if I get this probe, that should plug in. Better plug in. It does. So now that I can plug that into a BNC port. Because I wanted to test the probes. It's not about the probing technique I'm using, ideally I'd use a BNC cable, right? But I want to test these probes. In order to do that properly, I need to convert from this probe into a BNC connector in order to do uh, more accurate testing of them to make sure they're actually meeting the specs. So yeah, so I've got four of those, which I'll scatter around different places. I'll stick them in different places. So I don't lose them. You know, I might put you know one on my bench here, a couple in a drawer, somewhere somewhere else. So hopefully, when I do go and want one, I'll, I'll be able to find one somewhere. <laughs> been ages trying to find them last time, and I've got some, I just can't find the bloody things. Right, let's see what's in this one. Now I'm pretty sure this is from PCBWay, and if that's the case, then it's a uh, it's a sponsorship item. Let's get this out of the way. See this somewhere. It is, there we go. So PCBWay are very kindly paid to have these made for me. It's cost me no nothing at all. It's been free to me. So make sure you go and check out PCB Wave website and that sort of stuff because um, they've been really good to deal with. I've dealt with them several times now and each time they've been excellent so I've always been very happy with the service. There are other manufacturers as well but um, this is the one I've, I've 
and they're all pretty much the same as far as quality so you can just pick and choose which one you prefer really and I've been happy with PCB way so I'm just carrying on using them so make sure you check them out there'll be links down below for PCB way as well and I'll give you a few little things got some more stickers for their five year celebration which I did a video on not too long ago yeah I, I got a whole big box of stuff so that's those and they give me another pen always need more pens and here's the boards and hopefully I'll design them right <laughs> If there's, any, if there's anything wrong with them, if there's any cock-ups, it's probably mine. So let's give them a go. Let's have a look. So I ordered uh, 10 boards. So how many, how many did you get? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11. As usual, they give you an extra one or two. I've gone out of focus again. Bastard focus. And that's the manual focusing too, I still can't get it right. <laughs> okay. So I don't have any flood or anything, I don't have flood fill. There's none of that on there. It's just just the traces themselves. And this is Enig as well. So it's gold plated. Immersion gold. Because I wanted these to be nice quality boards with good connections and things that should probably sit around for a while and actually maybe not be assembled straight away. So let's have a quick look, make sure I've messed anything up. Because it'll say any mistakes are probably mine. I had to try and communicate with them about how to set up this header here. Because the footprint I'd used was actually the, not really the right one, it's just what worked. So um, it's actually a right angled footprint which actually hung off the edge of the board and so they were a bit confused by that saying hey the board's going to be you know the footprint goes off the edge of the board the silk screen goes off it I said don't worry about it let's cut it off <laughs> so it's fine uh, and that's the other side and there's that footprint just off the edge of the board there you see it I just said don't worry about it I said, that's fine that's why I want it so in theory this board should be used for the 8647, 8648 an 8920, it should work on the, on the very least those units. Now, the length is the only thing, it's a bit short, only because of the um, limitations in Eagle. Um, I can't go to like 100mm on Eagle, so that's the size I had to go to. It probably high enough though, it's probably going to give enough access to get to the card anyway. But at the worst case, you could always stack them. If you really had to, I suppose. So yeah, excellent. So we'll, we'll assemble those. I've got all the bits I need to assemble those. So that's my bag. So make sure you subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, click the bell icon. If you are subscribed, make sure the bell is ringing so you get my notifications. And check out my other videos. There's loads and loads of them. Lots of repair stuff. Lots of mail bags. Whatever you want to have a look at. I've got some mechanical repairs, electronic repairs, domestic repairs, a bit of DIY, all sorts of stuff. I, I cover quite a wide range of things. So check those other videos out, just look at my video history or whatever, you know, my playlist. Got lots of playlists as well in groups. So hopefully you find it interesting. Lots of reviews as well. I've got to try and plug the other stuff to make you watch more, because you know I want you to watch more. You know, watch more. And I'm sure I'm forgetting something else. Thanks again, PCB Way. You'll see another video on these. There will be another video showing me assembling these things and trying them out. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. See you next time.